My name is Arjan Aibo. I will speak about the first uh, dam removal project. When I say the first, I mean I exclude the hundreds of weirs which have been removed in the last decades. It is uh, the Krebsbach Dam in east of Germany. So here you see the dam before the removal and after. It is an 18 meter high dam in the east of Germany. A moment. Anyway, so you see the red star here. It is located here in the province of Thuringia, which is a small province. And um, it's a creek. You see there's even not 0 0.1 uh, cubic meter per second on average flow. Uh, it's a, a small, um, yes, it's this, this creek, which is not very long, but here is a bigger river called Weisse Elster. It's flowing there, and um, it is an, uh, not a very old dam built in the 60s for uran processing, but it had already very early stability problems and so on. And 20 years later, just in the 80s, this water was not needed anymore, so it has been used for fishing and so on. But after 90, uh, the stability problems became more occurrent and more uh, evident and new laws required uh, some actions um, um, the risk was uh, the problem was that yes the floods could not be just passed through or over the dam without any risk the bottom outlet was too small and so on so the operator the Turinger fan wasser here, Versorgung, which belongs to the uh, provincial government. Uh, luckily, it's not uh, privatized. Dec took a decision in 98. It said, okay, there's no new purpose, which nobody asked to use the dam in any way, and what we do with it, we remove it. It was, as I said, the first decision in its sense. Um, so in 2001, they s built an additional uh, spillway, which you can see on the right side. And meanwhile, the process had started. Um, the plan approval procedure um, asked the stakeholders for opinions, and there were 453. And the main concern here is the flood uh, risk in the downstream stretches. That's a big discussion. Some environmental organizations like Friends of the Earth have been uh, included. So uh, there were discussions around this and uh, uh, the operator said that it's the first uh, big re dam removal case in Germany. We should do it very carefully, comprehensively, big uh, uh, analyzes and so on plannings and that's why the planning costs were already 200, 250,000 euros and the total the dams cost a uh, removal cost was 1.2 million euros which is very expensive um, so uh, this created this uh, decision created a lot of discussion in Germany uh, but we have to see it a little in the context of an other dam construction project, uh, the Leibis Lichte, which is also in Thuringia. It's the last really big, large uh, constructed dam of Germany, 100 meter high, uh, 500 million euros. Uh, it has been completed in 2007 or six, And just two years later after the completion, uh, it was stated that the dam is not really needed. Anyway, so it's a the dam, the Krebsbach dam is a kind of composition, not officially, but it is suggested by the most of the people. Anyway, so removal started then in 2007. Um, you see a picture from the removal process. Um, as I said, the um, yes, I mean, they removed it and they um, took the all the fishes and so out of the river, of the Hul River. Uh, because it was assumed that the water quality in the downstream stretches will decrease. It's an important point. Anyway, it started first at the, you see, from the dam, um, how do you say, uh, impoundment. It's here it started, and then step by step they took the dam out. It was not a big issue because it's uh, just a creek with some a little water. Anyway, um, 
they removed it quite fast and uh, you see this a picture uh, after the draining uh, the how the creek is oriented and um, the um, flood concern in the downstream areas led to the decision to broaden the creek in the downstream stretches there are uh, some let's say uh, houses buildings at the creek so uh, the compensation uh, the costs also come from uh, measures like this and the to to uh, how to say to meet the concerns of the people there um the, cons uh, the sediment cons uh, consideration was not so serious uh, i mean the sedimentation rate there is not high on average there was a sedimentation in the dam reservoir of 30 35 centimeters there was some contamination uh, because of some industrial agriculture upstream but it was said okay we can just let it flow uh, actually the most of the which uh, vegetation uh, sediment will be binded when the vegetation comes and it happened like this there was no uh, big uh, floods directly after the removal but the uniqueness of this dam is that uh, due to this flood consideration it was taken the decision to uh, pre-shape the impoundment process that makes this dam a uh, pro removal project very unique so they created a uh, meander through all this impoundment process it looks like this you see this is the former impoundment and this is a uh, new channel and it has been done in a trapezoidal way and so the length is 1.2 four instead of 0 0.7 kilometers the second aim of this was to create a wetland to increase the biodiversity of the region and it was assumed that uh, this uh, uh, channel can hold back a year's flood a 10 years flood anyway we con considered as uh, from the university as quite uh, questionable whether it makes sense or not anyway you see they have created the channel some groins ramps in the uh, dam impoundment this is how the groins and so on there are some small uh, flood pools and so on to have this uh, diversity in the channel and uh, monitoring was done until last year you see the channel as it has been constructed it's must be end of 2007 or so it looks like this and this is uh, now we have pictures from uh, 2008 after all the construction works have been done it's the first spring just after the removal you see uh, there's not so much vegetation yet because it's still very early this is the picture where the dam was it was he just here and this is the channel and so on and this is the area where the dam removal, uh, the impoundment. But just uh, some months later, you see there's the vegetation is growing. It's growing and uh, good, I mean, faster than probably expected, but uh, not really in the planet way because uh, of the contamination, the nettles, uh, uh, the pr uh, growth of nettles very high. It's not a big uh, issue, but because of the nitrates and more willows uh, than expected it's also not a big problem and um, because after the removal some vegetation has been done by the dam operator and the monitoring of 2010 and uh, two 22 species of macrozobentos have been determined uh, the number increased uh, it was considered as a positive development but still affected by the uh, wastewater which was coming from upstream from the agriculture and uh, the wastewater from the town upstream anyway um, about the fishes um, like I said as the all the fishes were taken out from the river with the dam removal process and then the ray population started from the big river from downstream and one two tributaries and the uh, fishes uh, have come uh, slowly this is the creek 
the channel, the constructed channel. This is a barrier one kilometer downstream, uh, a weir, which has later then ma uh, made uh, passable with a, s a fish passage. Here I've listed all the um, fishes. Important is the brown trout. Uh, after three years, the, nu uh, the number abundance was quite high, but not in the former uh, dam impoundment uh, downstream. So, um, and these are these two species. They have become less, but they because they are, they prefer more standing water. Anyway, so uh, then there was a monitoring 2017 last year. So the following cons uh, conclusions have been done. Mm, um, I mean, um, the let's say the biocenosis plants and uh, animals, they improved, but slowly, uh, especially after three uh, steps or uh, developments. The first was the fish passage installation at the barrier downstream. There's a second one, which is already passable. And the construction of the, the wastewater treatment in the upstream town, it improved the water quality. And two floods, which came a little late in 2011 and 13. The first four years we had no real big floods, um, so the water could not go over the channel. Um, so then uh, the um, development became much more uh, better in the biological way. And uh, the water quality, this is uh, important, it has increased uh, quite well, good in a good way, in the downstream stretches. On all the plans which have been done before the removal, it was stated that the water quality will decrease. It's so something strange. Um, the op we s think that it comes at the in the planning process, how do you say, um, not ecologists, biologists have been involved in a proper way. More engineers have done this all these plannings. Um, and this is a positive um, outcome of this dam uh, uh, removal project. That's why the number of fishes and other species has improved, especially in the last years, in a good way. A very problematic thing uh, is the uh, channel, how it has been built. It is uh, quite a trapezoid channel, but uh, very uniform, monotonous, there's not enough space for the flat areas and so on. And the problem is also the substrate, because, uh, how to say, it, um, it was done, the channel and the impoundment is from alluvial clay, but the normal character of the uh, creek is more sandy and gravely, uh, grave mix. Yes, um, coming to the end, I have still some minutes. Yes, yes okay. Um, yes, as I said, Germany has, uh, there are hundreds of years removed for 20 years or longer. This is an ongoing process, but uh, the case which I uh, presented, uh, present uh, the Krebsbach is the first, let's say, dam, uh, bigger dam, which has been removed. Actually, just f some months later, had another dam in Germany has been removed. It's called Untere Herbringhauser Talsperre, and uh, it's west, close to Cologne. And it's interesting, it has been removed uh, within a short while, and beginning of 2007, a court or so, or uh, any kind, yes, the court said there's an imminent danger, and within three months, four months, the planning was done, and the removal, something very untypical for Germany. But anyway, it was done, and I was there, and there's no, there's not, there are not many documents or so, there's no monitoring. Um, anyway, so long years, we didn't hear from other dam removal projects, exclude, we exclude the years. In 2011, I did a survey with 11 provincial op dam operators, the most important ones in Germany. This moment, there was no actually discussion or planning uh, to for dam removal. Uh, actually, dam removal has been included as an option. All said yes, when we discuss about the future of certain dams, 
dam removal is considered, but there's no dam to be removed or potential. Anyway, so still the, uh, the strive the, to find a new purpose, fishing, recreation, uh, I don't know what, uh, was very uh, strong. Anyway, but the situation changed very recently in the province of Thuringia. Now we have five dams which will be f uh, removed in the next years. Two for two, the decision has been already taken. They are not very high dams, around 10 meters the most, but two have been uh, already more or less decided. The three are in the process, but the operator says 99% we will remove them. All these dams have either uh, flood uh, risks, one or two of them have been, uh, how do you say, over, the water went over the dam, and there was a big risk uh, after floods, or there's no purpose anymore. Anyway, so uh, these dams will be uh, removed in the next uh, years, which is a very good development. I don't know the situation in the other provinces, but it shows that there's a change of mind thinking. A uh, colleague here was yesterday speaking about the conservative approach in Germany, but uh, it's it can also change in Germany. And uh, another th thing what the dam operator says is uh, that the provincial government will give uh, much uh, several more or several uh, several more dams obsolete dams or dams in a problematic situation to the big dam operator Turing Fernwasser and probably some of them will also remove so in Turing we have a quite positive development that more dam removal will come and this can break let's say uh, the conservative approach in Germany not to remove too much dams. These are pictures from two dams, one on the right side. It's one with a risky situation and it has been drained already for one year. This is another one which will also flood it. There are some discussions, some small objections by people or so, but not str in a strong way. Yes, and uh, it gives hope even for the reverse and the uh, biocenosis diversity in Germany. And I thank you for listening. Mm -hmm.